Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. I welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. The FDA has advised us to eat food uh, that is color of the rainbow, uh, which means that it contains many different kinds of vegetables that uh, give you the maximum nutritional benefit. And this is the goal of my fast cooking system. And the word fast is the acronym for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And with my fast cooking system, you not only can make your food look fantastic, but you also can make it taste wonderful. And more importantly, it is healthy. Now, however, in order to make home cooking sustainable, it should also be practical, efficient, creative, as well as fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dish to achieve these objectives. Uh, this is a shrimp dish with five different kinds of vegetables. Uh, this provides a perfect balance between the proteins that you need as well as the vegetables for nutritional values. Uh, this dish will provide a demonstration of all the four attributes of the fast cooking system. And I want to use this video as an opportunity to show you that it could be done. And you can walk into the kitchen and have this dish on the table in less than 15 minutes. At the heart of my cooking system, or I can call it the engine or the driving force of the cooking system is advanced prepping. The concept of advanced prepping is so simple. I remember the first time when my friend Amy saw this, she immediately said, Gee, I wish I had thought of that right from the beginning. Because not only that it saves time, but it also have a lot of fun. When you are going to cook, you have all the ingredients ready for you to use. So to cook this uh, dish, uh, it took me about 5 minutes to throw out the shrimp. And at that time, I gathered the ingredients from my advanced prepping. Uh, since I just cook an egg dish with a mild flavor, so I don't need to wash the wok. I go ahead and start cooking the shrimp right away. I add about one and a half tablespoon of uh, vanilla oil to the wok, and you can use whatever cooking oil that you would like, as long as it has a high smoking point. Uh, since I have just finished cooking the egg, uh, I know the wok is well seasoned and it has a non-stick cooked surface. Uh, otherwise, I will season the wok uh, use my spot seasoning method. Uh, if you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. Uh, it is a very effective method uh, to create a non-stick cook surface on my stainless steel wok. Uh, I use my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok uh, to cook this dish. Uh, this wok frequently known as a wok pan because it has a relatively large flat bottom surface area so I can use it like a small frying pan. I have coated the shrimp in advance with a thin layer of cornstarch as well as some chili pepper flakes. I'm first going to cook the shrimp using a method referred to as shallow frying. Basically, I lay the shrimp out in a single layer on the surface of the wok. I'm going to fry the shrimp on one side first, and then I turn it over to fry the other side. This is a very effective and simple method to create a light breading on the surface of the shrimp. This is a much better method than deep frying. First of all, it is very fast. And secondly, is that you only use a minimum amount of cooking oil. It takes only about 30 to 40 seconds to fry one side of the shrimp. And then I turn them over to fry the other side. For cooking this dish, I use about 12 ounces of uh, large shrimp. Uh, the shell and the tail of the shrimp have been removed. Uh, they have been deveined and they are frozen individually so I can pour them out in a bowl of lukewarm water uh, in about 10 minutes. A uh, cornstarch is the best way to create a light breading on the surface of the shrimp. Uh, this will give the shrimp a slight crispy texture. As you can see, when I flip them over, uh, you can see the browning of the shrimp due to the cornstarch. Uh, the cornstarch also serves another important purpose, uh, because the coating of the cornstarch uh, will prevent the shrimp from overcook. So the inside of the shrimp actually will be more moist and tender. 
Uh, and by now, the shrimp is about 60% cooked. And now I'm ready to go to the next step, uh, which is to cook the vegetable uh, with the shrimp. The first vegetable I'm going to add is about one cup of asparagus. Uh, this is then followed by half cup of purple cabbage. Uh, this is next followed by half cup of color bell pepper. Uh, this is then followed by uh, one cup of portobello mushroom. A color is very important uh, in my mind uh, to construct a desirable dish. As uh, my friend Eugene once said to me that uh, we eat with our eyes as well. A good looking dish is probably a good tasting dish. Uh, Eugene is a digital artist. I enjoy the colorful picture that he created. And I try to create the same type of dish with different colors. Now all the ingredients that I add to the dish at this point, they cook very rapidly. So the dish is almost done. Next I'm going to season the dish uh, first uh, with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Uh, this is followed by one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Uh, these two sauces create a wonderful flavor combination for shrimp and vegetable dish. But I'm also going to add one tablespoon of teriyaki sauce made by a company called Kinders. I discovered that uh, by using different sauce combinations, uh, it is probably the most effective way uh, to do flavor chasing uh, in creating the flavor that you enjoy because you can constantly make adjustments not only by using different types of sauces but also by using different uh, ratio. And I quite often have about four or five different sauces on hand uh, to experiment with. Uh, quite often some of the sauces will stick and burn to the bottom of the wok. I use the method I call it spot cleaning uh, to clean this from the surface of the wok. Uh, this method is extremely simple. All I have to do is to deposit a small amount of water from my water squeeze bottle right in the area where I see things stuck to it. Uh, I then use the water spatula uh, to scrape them off. Uh, since I only add a very small amount of water, I do not dilute the flavor of the dish. Uh, at the same time, I return the flavor from the surface to walk back to the dish, and I also create a very light sauce. Uh, the four vegetables that I add to the wok, the asparagus, the purple cabbage, uh, the color bell pepper, and the portobello mushroom all cook very quickly. It only uh, took about uh, 60 seconds to cook them, and by the time the shrimp was also cooked perfectly. Uh, the total cook time of this dish is slightly under 6 minutes. Uh, this is the beauty of my fast cooking system. Uh, with advanced prepping, you have many different ingredients for you to choose from. And with stir frying, you can cook it really fast. Now, template based cooking means that you don't need to use a recipe because you can make substitutions and modifications uh, based on a basic template. And with flavor chasing, you can flavor the dish in many different ways. You can flavor it differently each time, so your cooking will never be boring and mundane. And with the fast cooking system, I can make my home cooking enjoyable because each time when I enter the kitchen, I can focus on the cooking rather than the prepping and this allow me to uh, express my creativity and enjoy the process. Uh, when my friend Jimmy has adopted my fast cooking system, uh, about several months later, I asked him how is it going? He said I never had such a good time in my entire life because every time I walk into the kitchen, I feel like I am playing uh, in my uh, playroom. I can create these amazing dishes that I love and enjoy. And so for the final touch of this dish, I garnish it with some scallions. And when you can cook dishes like this, why would you want to bother eat fast and processed food? Also, when you can cook a dish like this, which will cost you a fraction of what if you would have gone out to eat and ordered it in a restaurant. And this is the beauty of my fast cooking system that will allow you uh, to create home cooked meals at a top restaurant quality 
with the creativity and variations that is completely in your control. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system that is practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you tomorrow.